Hey YouTube, Jeremy here. Just want to talk about what I use to quickly sharpen my knives. Um, this is the Work Sharp Knife and Tool Sharpener. This was the original edition. Uh, they have come out with a new Ken Onion version. Um, I just ended up getting this before that came out. I like it. I, I think it's a good tool for, for quickly putting a, a decent edge back on your knife. You do need to take precaution using it. And do I think it is the best way to put an edge on a good kitchen knife? No, I don't. Um, I'm still working at becoming efficient um, with a water stone and, and doing a proper sharpening job on my knives, but it takes me a long time. And uh, typically I like to sharpen my knives once every week or once every other week, depending on how much my wife is using them. Um, we do eat most of our meals at home and my wife loves to cook. Uh, so do my kids, so do I, so we end up using our knives a lot. Um, several times a day this blade will get used. We've had it for, I don't know, I'd say four years and it's got a lot of wear on it, but it's still a good blade. Um, this tool here makes it a really quick little option to just get that nice, nice sharp edge back on there. Um, another thing I do like about this knife sharpener is that uh, my carry knife is a Kershaw Clash and uh, any knives that have this type of a blade contour where it actually goes concave and then convexed um, on the belly, this can be quite difficult to sharpen on a stone because um, it's obviously not flat. This is easier, the belly, but in this part, uh, it's hard to get that part nicely sharpened, which is another reason why I really like this. This knife will only get sharpened on here because, I mean, this is my EDC knife. I use it, I beat it up. I've had this knife for four years and I run it through here and it puts a super sharp edge back on it. So, um, This uh, work sharp comes with this first guide which is for a 40 degree bevel, that's an included angle, um, so 20 degrees on each side. This would be more for your kitchen cutlery, um, some finer knives, and then it has this guide. Now, I'm not entirely sure why the guides are different. This one covers up the bottom pulleys, this one doesn't. Not sure why they do that. but. Um, either way, this one is for uh, 50 degree knives, so something with a little bit more of a blunt edge. Um, hunting knives, utility knives, uh, good for pocket knives and stuff like that. You can get other guides from what I understand, but I haven't bothered because I, I can do what I need to do with just these. Uh, quick look at the tool. Take this guide out for clarity. Um, obviously you have a belt there, and this one right here is a very fine belt. They come with three different grits. Uh, this is very coarse. This is a medium and this is fine and uh, I like this one especially as it gets used a little bit it becomes a very fine hone. Um, this green one I'm not entirely sure they don't say what the grid is on them but you gotta be careful because you can cut a brand new edge in a blade with this one and also you can also overheat the knife if you're using this one recklessly. Um, this one's a little bit more tame but still this one will remove material. Uh, the first time I used this tool was at our in our kitchen counter and I was amazed at the metal filings and the dust that was left. You're actually taking, uh, uh, you can actually take metal away fairly quickly with these belts, um, except for this last one, which I always use for cleaning up the edges. Um, as you just saw, that's how you change the belts. It's got a little detent there. You just twist it, and uh, there's your tension mechanism, and it also has the tracking mechanism built in. Um, I need this belt, so we'll put this one on. So basically, to install the belts, you just put them on the rollers there. Uh, one thing I'm not sure if the camera will pick this up or not, but these rollers are crowned, uh, which means that they've got a, they're not totally flat rollers, they, they've got an arch on them, a crown, and that really helps in the tracking, uh, keeps them centered. So basically, to put a new belt on, you just stick this in here like that, right up through there, you gotta have this in the down position, and then uh, stick the belt on there, and you're good to go. Uh, there's a little tracking wheel here, so what you'll first do is you'll first run it up, give it a couple hits, hit it a few times, and I'll run it here and show you how you can track it. Uh, you'll see it move the belt from side to side. So that's basically it. Uh, I'll run you through a quick sharpening with this. Um, let me see. Some knife designs, nothing too important. Okay, so first we'll show you this knife. It is not very sharp at all. If 
it's mostly just tearing. It's not doing a really great job. So we're going to run it through here. Good. Put on our fine belt. Again, I don't use the uh, green belt often. If I get an edge that's in really bad shape, I will use that. But usually, I just go with my the medium. Also, you can buy a lot more uh, belts. I know the Ken Onion Edition takes wider belts, I believe, and you can actually get different compound. These are basic, I don't know, aluminum oxide abrasive. So. Nothing special, no fancy technology, but it, it works for me. Let's get that tracked. Each belt does run slightly differently, so it's a good idea to track every one as you put it on. Now with a fine belt. Seems like a much better edge. So for how little time I've put into that, see, it's it's still. I mean, it's not an uh, incredible edge, but it's probably like a decent edge that they come from the factory with. Uh, uh, just a good cutting edge. So for how little effort that took, it went from a dull knife to not a razor knife. I don't think it would necessarily cut my hair, uh, shave with it, but uh, good for a pocket knife. And then if we were to go and do kitchen blades, we would switch the guide out and run with this one. This one, you can't change belts without taking the guide off. So I'm going to touch up a few of my kitchen blades, and so I will show you those. Again, this chef's knife. I mean, it, this thing is dull right now. Uh, terribly dull. You can get it to cut if I'm really fussy, but it's not that great. So, let's see what this thing does. That's better. Again, not as beautiful of an of an edge as if, if you spent some time with a stone, but um, I could do a paper test. Oh, I'll jag it there. 
Oh, I've got tape on the edge instead of just paper. So there you have it. You saw exactly how long it took me to touch up this blade. Much better. Cut tomatoes tomorrow for salsa. I'm going to notice a big improvement. And that took no time. Just use caution. Um, if you're careless, they can do some damage to the tips, the very tips. Uh, that happens when you're pulling it out of the guide. Your last little bit, there seems to be a lot of nothing to guide you so you have to really focus on getting a nice clean pull and typically I won't focus so much on the very tips especially with a chef's knife I mean some of these smaller knives uh, kitchen knives where you actually might move more use more for uh, poking and stabbing um, this is for us at least we use this as a chopper so um, just something to keep an eye on is the is the tips so there you go quick review this is a, I would recommend anybody buy this if they want just a simple knife sharpener um, that they can use for all sorts of things. One other feature I'm going to show you about this. Okay, so the other part about this uh, work sharp knife and tool sharpener, <clears throat> this would make it a knife sharpener. The reason they can call it a tool sharpener is because basically you can operate it like this. You can take the guard off and you've got a uh, basically a belt sander, belt not grinder, belt sander. Um, they have a little some detents in the bottom of this housing, and you simply pull back on this little arm, and you can maneuver the head, the grinding head, to a different angle, so it's a little bit more comfortable to work on. Again, the nice thing with this design is that belt is running down, so um, you see if you're. I'm going to show you. I'm going to sharpen up my uh, my tomahawk here in a minute. It doesn't come with a super sharp factory edge so I'm going to put a better edge on it but um, it does actually work for that. I've done several axes with this and uh, especially when you get into axes that's when these green belts are nice. Um, I did look on the box they don't send the belts but they have uh, 80 grit, 220 grit and 600 grit so this would be the 80 grit and like I say if you're sharpening an axe head this thing really hogs off material quite nicely so um, for situations like that it's handy to have all of them just going to reset the camera here and I will show you uh, me putting a better edge on this here axe or tomahawk. Alright, so I have this uh, CRKT tomahawk. Oh, that's a little Kydex sheath I made for it. Um, there you have it. I have yet to use this uh, tomahawk. Um, but I'm going to give it a try out tomorrow, I believe, but the factory edge isn't that bad, could be better. Um, as with any axe, I'll, pretty much all my other uh, axes and hatchets do have a decent edge on them right now. But uh, I'll show you how quickly this works. So I put on the uh, medium belt again, because like I said, there's not a lot that needs to be done here, but I'll just show you how this works. Okay, I'm just going to switch belts. Okay, so I put the fine belt on here and we're just going to go ahead and hit this again.
see what that's like. And that's definitely a better edge than it came with. Uh, would it shave? I don't think so. Nope, it's not quite shaving yet, but uh, still pretty decent blade for a tomahawk or an axe. Um, this kind of shows you some of the versatility. I know they advertise even using on lawnmower blades, which it would probably be fairly good at doing. So something you might be interested in considering. Uh, handy tool. Uh, not a craftsman or artisan tool, but just a really quick, simple way to to improve on an edge. Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate it. And if you have any comments or questions about this, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Cheers.